Hey everyone, it's Midnight Spectre, and today we're going to be doing a bit more of a serious video today, dealing with some heavy topics. I hope everyone remembers to like, comment, and subscribe. So recently, a storytime animator by the name of Illimations has come under fire for a video that quote-unquote promotes fat acceptance, which anyone who watches her video, Perks of Being the Fat Kid, which was released about four months ago, is a positive video on accepting yourself for yourself and not falling into the pitfalls of dangerous dieting fads and dangerous self-imposed eating restrictions, which is a huge, and a lot of young people need to hear that. Hell, a lot of people just need to hear that in general. Additionally, Illy's struggle with her appearance is also something I struggled with when I was growing up. I have been the long, lifelong fat kid. I remember being bullied for being overweight for pretty much all my life. I remember struggling with acceptance and trying dangerous weight loss pills to the point where I was constantly shaking from the high amounts of caffeine and ephedra that was coursing through my veins. Researching where to get banned weight loss pills that had caused deaths just to try to get what I thought was a healthy body shape, and not to mention my parents were always constantly beating into my head that I needed to lose weight. Even today, I still fall into the idea that I should be basically as tiny as possible, which for my frame isn't really possible, and I'm naturally built wider than most people. My eyes are now open to, to outdated science and ideas that I had believed for so long, like for example the food pyramid which has since been debunked. Hell, I believed for a long time that potatoes were the devil in terms of food, but they're actually a healthy and filling food. However, I spent long enough on myself. I need to get into the very well, say, sorry to say this, the meat and potatoes of the video. A right-leaning YouTuber named by the name of Think Before You Sleep called out Illy saying that her video is dangerous for promoting fat acceptance, a video aiming to destroy the lives of young people. God, I hate white right wingers so much. This eventually cascaded into a hate campaign against Illy, where now she's been doxxed and people on Fortune and other websites have flooded her comment section with hate comments and say awful things about her online. And the creator of the video against Illy is now crying that he's a victim because Illy had recommended on Tumblr to report the video and think before your sleep is now saying that Illy is trying to deplatform him, which honestly I think he should be deplatformed. This creator has creatively cut out sections of Illy's video and spliced them together to support his argument. I can't believe we still live in a world where people like this exist. If you have to mix and mash someone else's words like a YouTube poop in order to support your argument, then you never had a valid argument to begin with. I learned this in high school English class. I assume this creator also went through high school and as well, and should have probably have learned that, but unfortunately we're still in this world where drama sells. Illy's video is not a quote unquote fat acceptance video, it's a video trying to warn people about the pitfalls, dangerous dieting fads, and other dangers trying to become skinny and promoting being skinny as morally good while other foods are also morally good and try to break the idea that if you're overweight and I don't even like saying the word fat because I've heard it so many times in my life it's almost like a slur to me that you're lazy and immoral. No, that's not the case at all. Everyone's different. Hell, we give the animals different foods based upon what they need, so why are people any different? Well, I hate to dwell on this any longer, but I stand with Illy, and I hope that everyone um, who's attacking her gets banned and eventually Illy can safely create videos again, because I love her videos. I hope everyone remembers that they're valid and you're beautiful just the way you are. And I hope everyone remembers to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for next week's video. See you!